Hello everybody and welcome to Brands Hatch. My name is Robert Labrook and today I'm going to be out on track in the new Focus Cup car. It's a new diesel powered arrive and drive series run by MSBR. Hello everyone and welcome to the cockpit of a Focus Cup car. We are at Brands Hatch and uh, fortunately the rain has held off so we are going to take this out onto the track and we're going to see quite what it's like. The Focus Cup is a brand new concept for this year and it uses 2 litre ZTEC S focuses. I think the kind of motor based touring car generation before this one. The thing that makes this different is it's a diesel. Now, before you winch, if you've ever driven a diesel on track, you'll have a little smirk right now because the one thing diesel gives you is torque. You want noise, you won't get much of it. You want straight line speed, you won't get a huge amount of it, well you will to a point. But you want torque and drive out the corners, this is what you want. This thing is rapid in the corners. And thanks to some work on the axles, and some spacers, you've got four inches of extra width and tyre, which means you have so much grip. But the thing that makes it, the thing that makes it mind bending is the way you use the throttle, because in most front wheel drive cars, you have to tip it into the corner, maybe feather the throttle to bring the rear around. This, don't even worry about it. This is a 1300 kilo car, and you basically tip it in. It does, it does not understeer at all. And then you get on the throttle, and it drags you out. It's almost a similar kind of driving experience when you're coming through corners like Graham Hill, which are a lot quicker than you give them credit for. It's almost like being in something like a sports bread pub, like a radical, but you're not. I'm in a 1300 kilo tin top that used to be someone's daily drive to Astor's. The one thing about it though, it's a nice relaxing drive. It is a nice place to be. Never feel particularly stressed or particularly up against it. It just feels so solid and so safe. Some might say that's a bad thing. If you want to go out and you want to have the rawest possible little rorty torty experience, it probably isn't for you. But if you want a car that performs, frankly, immeasurably better than you'd ever think about when you see it on paper and you look at the specs, it's superb. 